Thank you for tuning in to the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship third place match. Today, the teams we have facing off are the Holy City Flickers, Ben and Joe from the Charleston Crokinole Club versus the Canadian Cue Balls, Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson from Ontario, Canada. Both these teams had great success but were knocked out in the semi-final round and will now be duking it out for third place. Teams will now volley to decide who has hammer. Here's a countdown from Jason Malloy. And <laughs> misfires around the table. Boos and cheers as Andrew Hutchinson, although he scores a 20, opts to give hammer to the other team due to a faulty volley shot. Hutchinson up first to shoot. Scores to 20 and gets the cheers from the audience. Ben to follow up as well with his very own. Keeping in mind for this round that the Holy City Flickers will have hammer. Shots around the board. The audience cheers. Again, both these teams did a very good job in today's tournament. But, alas, we're beat by the people who will be going to the finals match. Whose hammer is it? Ron Langell and Paul Brubaker versus last year's champions, Ray and Jason Beerling, the Power Flickers. Joe now just barely misses an open 20. The Canadian cue balls up one in the cup. Not a big distance to overcome as the Holy City Flickers now may be able to even out the 20s cup. Ben going a little bit long, leaving Jeremy a potential angle and opportunity which he capitalizes on. Joe now again, slightly missing the 20, but on the right side of the hole. Not a super easy shot for Hutch to get a 20 off of, but Hutch will opt to stay on the outside, keeping any opportunities away from the Holy City Flickers. The Canadian cue balls now up two 20s. Jeremy just barely misses a conversion. Both teams leaving a few discs on the board. Holy City Flickers with three on, but in lower point regions, not quite enough to make up for that 220 difference. Hutch. Happy to opt with the one off. Two and two on the board for each team. Ben now needs to clear some space. Clears off all the discs, leaving one on the board. Tracy now most likely to leave his in the five and stay away from Joe, putting him in a difficult spot. Only a few shots remaining for each team. Joe opts to peel to at the very least get played back to the middle. Joe and Ben will be hoping for Tracy and Hutch to mix their next two shots and then convert two 20s to tie. And that seals it. The Canadian cue balls will be taking this first round, bringing the score to 2-0 for the Canadian cue balls. Shots now inconsequential. Joe catching a peg on that last one. Let's see some highlights. Tracy with that nice angle in. Hutch with the 20 that gets the cheers from the audience, setting the tone for this match. Ben to start draining that open 20. The Canadian cue balls will have hammer in this match. Joe taking some time to settle and just overshoots and potentially an opportunity for Hutch to convert a 20. Very nice from Hutch. Just slight drop back there. Ben now going a little bit long. Maybe another angle in for Tracy. Let's see how consistent he is with those. And a beautiful touch from Tracy there. Bringing it to a 220 advantage now in the cup for the Canadian cue balls. Hutch now most likely looking to get away from the center. Very nice roll away for Hutch. Staying away from any opportunities for Ben. Most likely, oh, an unfortunate shot catching the peg. Jeremy now happy with the easy off. A few options here for Joe. Trying to angle him, but just catches the peg on his way in there. Hutch now most likely to hit and stick. Almost rolls up between the pegs. Ben now with a few options. He will be looking to go for one of those two discs closer to the middle. Looks like he'll be going for the one inside the ring of the pegs. At the very least, 
Oh, too much power. That was the right angle, just a bit too much juice. And Tracy bounces out, maybe leaving an opportunity for Joe. Certainly not a gimme, but and just lips out. Very good bid on Joe's part. Hutch now with the opportunity. And he drains it, bringing it to a 320 advantage for the Canadian cue balls. See Tracy gesturing to Hutch to let him know where they are at. Jeremy now with an over 20 opportunity. Lips out, going a little far again. This time, not as much opportunity for Joe, but able to get the off and not leaving Hutch a lot to work with. Hutch follows through a bit too much. Let's see if Ben is able to convert the 20, and he does. Very nice touch. Doesn't get the off, but closing that gap ever so slightly. Unfortunately, the Canadian Q balls are just a bit too far ahead for there to be a chance for the Holy City Flickers to get back in. The second round will also go to the Canadian Q balls. We see another very nice touch from Tracy there, and Ben with a nice backboard 20. Hutch also, very nice shots around the board. Tracy now will start this next round. The Canadian cue balls now up four to zero. Very nice over 20 from Tracy. And Joe just coming a little bit short. Not an easy opportunity here for Hutch. Tracy trying to get the crowd going with uh, not very much success. <laughs> Hutch leaving his Far enough behind the hole that it doesn't look like there's a lot of an opportunity for Ben, who will just be going for the off. Leaves it in a nice spot, doesn't give Tracy a lot to work with. Now, Holy City Flickers do have Hammer in this match, so they will be looking to draw a mistake from Hutch and Tracy. Certainly easier said than done. Both Hutch and Tracy are top NCA ranked players. Hutch has seen great success through this season. One at the Frosty Flick tournament in Chatham. Tracy also with a few successes under his belt. Getting second in the World Crocodile Championship doubles. Looks like Tracy was going for a double there. Didn't quite get it. Holy City Flickers now. The very least, maybe. Oh, Ben with an unfortunate miss. If Tracy gets this off now, the Canadian cue balls are going to be in a very good position with a 120 advantage right now. Holy City Flickers do have hammer, but they need to make something happen if they want that hammer advantage to mean something. Joe looks like he was going for that Peggy Sue shot, hoping to catch the disc and the peg. Unfortunately, only caught the peg, leaving Hutch an opportunity for that open 20. Ben now going for that outside disc again. Peels forcing play back to the center. Let's see if Tracy can convert. And just a bit too much power as it hops out of the 20 hole. Joe now left with what looks like a heavy hanger, not the easiest shot. There could also be a double opportunity there. Joe catches the second disc but doesn't quite get it off. Hutch content to hit it and roll away. Now Ben needs to bring this in or Tracy's gonna pull a Brubaker. Ben rolls the disc, good news is Tracy can't keep it to the outside. Now if Tracy scores this, the Canadian cue balls will be taking the third round. Joe now with an opportunity, oh, rolls out and Canadian cue balls will be taking this, bringing the score to six to zero. See if Ben is able to catch this last one. Inconsequential. The Canadian cue balls being up three. 20 is bringing the score to six to nothing. See another open 20 from Hutch. Joe to start this round. The Canadian cue balls will have hammer. Joe going long and leaving Hutch an opportunity to convert a 20. Very nice shot. Just drops in. Ben also going long. Tracy could have a touch opportunity here again. He's been on those tonight. Continues to be on. Bringing this to a 220 advantage. Joe closing the gap ever so slightly. Scores his very own 20. 
I'm curious to see what Hutch does here. He doesn't need a 20 right now, so he might be going to roll away. Very nice. Leaves it outside of the pegs on the far side from Ben. Not leaving him a lot to work with. Ben might, might be able to, yes, nice hidden stick there. Might have opened the door slightly for Tracy. We'll see if he goes for it. Just opts to hit and stay there in the 10. Not a bad shot. Joe, unfortunately, catches a few pegs. Both the discs knocking back. Hutch content to stay on the outside. Ben opting to peel. Tracy now for an open 20 opportunity. Very nice. Making the gap even bigger now. Canadian cue balls up 120 and with hammer advantage with just less than half the shots to go in a very nice position right now. But Ben with an opportunity to convert doesn't quite get it. He does leave his disc in a difficult spot though. It'd be very hard for Tracy to get the off on this. Not sure if he'll be looking for, it looks like he'll be going from the outside, maybe setting up an assist for Hutch. Doesn't necessarily get the assist. I will be asking Tracy what his intentions were on that shot. Joe now looking to get, maybe going for that. I see what he was going for, hoping to bump his own disc into the 20, going off the blue disc. Didn't quite work out that way. Hutch now content to stay on the outside. That red disc might be, or sorry, that blue disc on the outside might be set up well for Ben to angle in. Let's see if he's able to convert. Not quite. He catches his, the peg on the way in. He does get the off, but he also loses his own shooter. Tracy now getting the off, leaving his between the pegs. The Canadian cue balls are up a 20, so the Holy City Flickers will need to make something happen on their next shot to force Canadian cue balls to shoot at all. See where Hutch leaves his disc. Ooh, very nasty spot. Ben will need the off and the follow through 20. Unfortunately, doesn't get it. Last shot in, consequential now. The Canadian cue balls will be winning this match was a race to seven. This will be eight points. Tracy now, rude. Bumps the last disc into the 20. Inconsequential, the Canadian cue balls are up by 10 points on the board and have won the third place match. Congratulations to both teams, both the Canadian cue balls and the Holy City Flickers for great performances today. The Canadian cue balls have taken third place and will be going home with that $400 prize. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned as the finals match will be coming out very shortly between the Power Flickers, last year's champions, Ray and Jason Beerling versus Ron Langell and Paul Brubaker. Whose hammer is it? Happy flicking and make it a great day.